Coalition for Independence was founded in 1988 by Mr. Paul Levy, who was an advocate in the Kansas City metro area for many years. Paul's whole motivation was to be able to allow people like himself and others with disabilities to live independently and to provide them with some type of support system that would allow them to gain the things that they needed to live out in the community. Anyone with a disability should have a choice on the way that they want to live their lives. Because we're a Center for Independent Living, we do want to include people with disabilities on staff, helping to make decisions, helping to have consumer control over what our agency does. Not only is beneficial to individuals with disabilities, but also beneficial to those folks on staff that don't have disabilities, so that they're able to learn true abilities of people with disabilities. One prime example of that would be Mary Carter. I have been involved with the Coalition for Independence since 2006. I started out part-time. I was also finishing my master's degree in social work. And when I finished that, I came on board full-time. She is someone that, for me, personifies the idea of independent living. I have cerebral palsy. My disability, it's considered mild, but I'm not able to walk. No matter what's going on in her life, where she might need to take a break, she always wants to make sure that she is still there for CFI. I handle all of the incoming calls to the agency where people ask questions or um, inquire about services. Who better to assist you in kind of navigating your world as a person with a disability than somebody else that has a disability and maybe has been through those things, has seen those challenges, and has overcome those challenges. What we provide here for people is an opportunity to see others that live the same way that they do. And I think that's very important in, in today's society. To me, independent living means having the ability to live in the community and accomplish the goals that I want for my own life. I like to focus on abilities instead of disabilities. One of the programs that CFI is currently focusing on is our durable medical equipment program. Right now we accept donations for durable medical equipment. It can be anything from wheelchairs to walkers and crunches and canes and just about anything you can think of. Just give us a call and we'll pick it up. We also want to make sure that people know about uh, durable medical equipment drives that we're going to start having throughout the year to give people an opportunity to drop equipment off so it can be reused. <laughs> it was really important to me to donate my um, old power chair. And there have been so many times in my life where someone has gone out of their way to help me so that I can have a better life. I just really felt it important to do the same thing, to give back to the community. And I know that my old power chair will um, be going to a good home. We want to make sure that people with disabilities have the same rights um, as someone who does not have a disability. And we want to make sure that they're integrated into society like everyone else is. Yes, there are things in my life that, that make it a little bit more difficult for me to move or do or whatever, but this wheelchair helps me to maneuver um, throughout my daily life. So for me, when I have my chair and all of my other assistive devices, I don't have a disability. And it's all good. And it's just there. <laughs>